Hello world, it's Austin. Let's talk about being transgender and Christian. This week's video is a resource video, so I'm going to try to introduce you to a couple of things that I think might be helpful for you in some way. Today I want to introduce you to two really cool and useful pamphlets. The first one is called Welcoming Our Trans Family and Friends, a support guide for parents, families, and friends of transgender and gender nonconforming people. This handy little booklet is put out by PFLAG, which stands for Parents, Family, and Friends of Lesbians and Gays, which is a kind of a dated title, but they're a wonderful organization and they have a lot of good information either for you if you're coming out as trans or anywhere under the LGBTQIAA umbrella, or for your family and friends as you're coming out and you'd like to give them something to help them understand a little more. This pamphlet is directed to parents and family and friends, so it's really helping them to understand you if you're coming out as trans. The first part is all about addressing their questions and has things like definitions for terms about trans and genderqueer and like, did I cause this or is this, um, you know, the parents' fault or what causes being trans, all that kind of stuff is answered in the first part. Secondly, they've got little helpful blurbs about how to deal with schools if your child is trans and is school-aged, and tips on talking to professionals. So if you are um, going with your child to uh, go see a therapist or a gender counselor of some kind, there's great information on that too. Towards the end, there are some really great stories. There's a story from a father's perspective, a story from a mother's perspective, and a story from a friend's perspective to help your parents and your family and friends feel like they're not so alone in what's going on here. Then at the very end, there's all kinds of resources. There's information about laws and like how those laws can affect your child or your friend. And it points you on to other great resources, websites, movies, all kinds of stuff. So I definitely recommend giving this to your family and friends if you want them to know more about what being trans is. And if they just need a good introduction and like further resources, this is a good way to go. Secondly, I wanted to introduce you to this little guy. This is a great little brochure. This is called Be Not Afraid, and it's uh, put together by Straight for Equality, which is a division of PFLAG. So this is a brochure that's specifically for people who are thinking about becoming allies of the LGBT community. So say I'm trans, stretch of the imagination, I know, and I give this to somebody in my church, or I just like have this out on tables at church. This is a great thing to just sort of leave lying around. Basically, the great thing about this pamphlet is that it highlights stories from actual LGBT Christians. Um, people from pastors to just lay people in the church from all kinds of denominations. It takes their stories and brings them to straight cisgender audiences and says, Hey, these are the stories of queer people of faith, and they exist and they matter, and here's how you can help. It's also got a handy little glossary in the back, so in case your audience has no idea what gender nonconforming or LGBT means, they can look it up. One of my favorite things about this pamphlet, besides the fact that it actually gives LGBT people the chance to tell their own stories, is that it gives concrete action steps for things that allies can do next. Because we all know that being an ally is more than just saying, yeah, I'm okay with that. It's, it's being allied together, walking forward. It's not just verbal assent, it's the things that you do. So definitely grab this guy and uh, hand him out if you find people in your church communities who you think might be really great allies and just need a little more information. The best thing about these two little pamphlets, they're totally free and they're on PFLAG's website and on the Straight Free Quality website too. You can either get ones like this mailed to you or you can print them off as PDFs. So I'm gonna put links to both of those things down below. Sorry this video is a little short, guys. I have to cut it off here because I have top surgery next week and I have a million things I gotta do first. So in that spirit, a couple of notes here before I go. Number one, thank you so much to everybody who donated to my top surgery fundraiser. You're amazing. Uh, you already know that we met our goal. Everything is good. Everything is paid for for my top surgery and I am pumped to go next week. Perks and benefits are going out to all of you within the next couple of weeks. I've got some of them mailed to me already and I'm waiting on the t-shirt, so those are coming out next. And the second thing I have to say is that I have to take another break from the Trans and Christian videos because of surgery, so I hope you understand. I'm sorry to have to take this break, but I just need a couple of weeks to really concentrate on recuperating and healing my body. So what this means is that for the next three weeks there will be no Wednesday Transgender and Christian videos, but they will resume on October 28th. So October 28th, that Wednesday, back here, new TNC video. Between today and October 28th, I will be peppering little videos in with my transition updates, updates on surgery and that kind of thing, and uh, it should be 
the week after next, I'm going to be putting up a video on how I figured out I was trans because that's been really, it's been something that's been requested by a bunch of different people. So that is a video that's going to go up here during the hiatus. Um, thanks for understanding everybody and I'm really excited to get back to things after surgery. As always, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. And the best place to ask me questions or talk to me or generally get in contact is on Twitter. So here's my Twitter handle. It's Austin Lionheart, and you can contact me on there during the hiatus. And if you have any videos you want me to make, let me know about them. All right, TNC family, thanks for watching. I hope you're all doing well. We will see you back for another Transit Christian video on October 28th. All right, peace, guys.